Good morning, and welcome to another math review lesson. Today we're going to be working on long division, everyone's worst enemy. But it really isn't all that bad. There is an acronym that we can use that will help us out to solve this question. And the question that I've chosen for today is 5,463 divided by 7. We call this digit here, or this number here, below the division sign. We call that the dividend. The 7, we call the divisor. And the answer, when we get it, will be placed up here and is called the quotient. The acronym that we can use to help us with this question is DMSB. A lot of students remember it as dead mice smell bad, or divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. I'm going to use different colors today to help you understand what I'm doing and where. So the D, I will use green. The M, I'll use red. The S, I will use purple. And the B, I will use blue. Once again, that's dead, mice, smell, bad. Dad, mom, sister, brother. But in math, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. My first step is to begin with the D, or divide. In division, we break a normal rule of math, and we start on the left of a number. So I'm going to begin with the 5, which is in the thousands place, and I'm going to divide 5, the dividend, by 7, the divisor. Now, 7 does not go into 5. So when I try to divide 5 by 7, I actually have to write down a 0. I'm going to place my 0 up here in the quotient. My next step is to m multiply. And I always multiply from the quotient to the divisor and place my answer below the dividend. So 0 times 7 is 0. And I'm writing that in red because multiply was written in red. My next step is s subtract, and I'm going to subtract 5 minus 0. 5 take away 0 is 5, and that's been written in purple because the S I wrote in purple, just to help you understand what I'm doing. I now need to go to B for bring down. I bring down the next digit from the dividend and place it here. So I now have 54, and I've reached the end of the acronym. My next step after I reach the end of the acronym is to go back to the beginning of the acronym. This does not end until I've used that last digit. So after I've brought down, I go back to D for divide. And now I'm working at the bottom here. I'm going to divide 54 by 7. 54 divided by 7 is 7, and I place that in the quotient. My next step is to m for multiply. 7 times 7 is 49. From there, I'm going to s subtract 54 minus 49, 4 Minus 9, I cannot do, so I'll cross out the 5, or borrow, and I now have 14 minus 9, which is 5, and I need to do that work still in purple, and 4 minus 4 is 0. Now I could have just done 54 minus 49 and known that the answer was 5. But this gives us a chance to practice our borrowing as well. Now that I have S subtracted, I need to B bring down. And I bring down the next digit, which is a 6. And I like to draw the arrows just to remind me which digits I have brought down. I've brought down, so now I go back to the beginning of the acronym, and I divide. 56 divided by 7 is 8. 
m for multiply, 8 times 7 is 56. My next step, s, subtract. 56 minus 56 is 0. B, bring down. I bring down the 3. Three divided by seven. Remember, I have to go back to the beginning of DMSB. Three divided by seven, and we always divide by this digit here, is zero. I cannot divide three into seven groups. I need to continue through the acronym. M multiply. Zero times seven is zero. S subtract. 3 minus 0 is 3. B, bring down. There's nothing to bring down, and I like to put a little x to say that I knew there was nothing left. But I still have this 3 down at the bottom. I've already tried to divide it. I am finished the question. So what is this 3? Well, that 3 is our remainder. Remainder 3. So the answer to the question 5,463 divided by 7 is 780 remainder 3. And this number up here, 780, we call the quotient. I do hope that this review of long division has been helpful. Keep dividing.